What's up guys, how do you do? Welcome to today's edition of Programming with us TV. In this class we're going to see how to sort in both ascending and ascending, descending and ascending manner. Of course, a recycler view with cards, as you can see, sort them in both ascending and ascending manner right here, okay? With Kotlin Android. So if I click toggle sort first, it sorts them in an ascending manner, as you can see right here, or the way from Apollo 15 to the okay if we go down we have i think voyage or w or w map now if i click toggle sort again it sorts them now in a descending manner from w map all the way to apollo 15 okay so this of course is what we're going to see and this is in uh of course this is in portrait mode let's also look at it in landscape mode all right so here we go with the landscape mode now we can just come click toggle sort and then it sorts them from apollo 15 all the way to w map if we toggle again now from w map all the way to apollo 15 yeah we're using kotlin programming language and of course a recycler view right here so let's get started so the first thing that we're going to do of course is to create the application so go ahead type your application name and then of course as you can see we have the company domain then you specify the project location so given that we're working with kotlin programming language instead of java we have to check this include kotlin support now go ahead check it then of course go to next then as you can see we need to select of course our minimum sdk in this case we are making an app for phone and tablets and then you choose the api level 15 okay android 4.0.3 supporting a hundred percent of devices then of course we have some templates which we're going to work with in this case we'll go with the empty activity so once we've done that one then as you can see this is going to generate for us a main activity as well as the activity main layout so please click finish to generate our project okay our project has now been generated so all we have to do first is to come to our graduate scripts we have to build our Cradle scripts right here. Now, of course, you can see we're coming to the app level. That is the Cradle scripts that is defined in the app folder. Okay. So what will we do right here? Well, as you can see, we're going to add our dependencies. So we're going to have a couple of dependencies from the support uh, library. So we come right here. As you can see, first we have the app compat. We have the design. And we also have the card view app compat will give us of course the app compat activity from which our main activity will derive from right here the design support okay in this case will give us the recycler view which is our adapter view as well the card view right here will give us of course the card view which will make the item views in our recycler view so please go ahead uh, Add those dependencies then click sync to sync the project then of course having done that one we're going to come we're not working with any images so we'll leave drawables alone instead we're going to go over to the colors.xml let's start with the values resource right here now for me i'm going to actually work with a custom theme okay now i've just added some colors this is going to be my accent color this is my color primary okay normally it's blue but i've changed it then this of course will be my color primary dark this yellow right here okay so text color and window background will are going to be this one or a navigation back color will be this one so these are my custom colors strings.xml this is where you have your application name well styles.xml this is where we're going to have as you can see our styles okay so first we have the base application theme theme dot up compact dot light dot dark action bar then of course we come right here and then specify our custom themes okay so we have my custom material theme now what is its parent well its parent is my custom material theme dot base but what is that parent well here is our parent you can see we specify our colors right here okay now this is actually deriving from the th 
him do top compare do try to do dark action bar so yeah this is going to be my styles now once we have just copy this style right here and then we we'll move over to our manifest dot xml so in the android manifest you specify that particular custom style okay no working with that of course a custom style is actually optional you don't have to do it if you are comfortable with the default well having done that one then of course we'll come to the activity main dot xml now these are layout that's been generated for us by android studio okay when we generated our project with a single activity it's corresponding a layout was actually generated you can just change the root element to the relative layout where we have our button for toggling the sort okay so toggle sort as you can see we have it right here on top then we have below it a recycler view so with recycler view we've given it a layout margin of 40 dp okay so we're going to have that one that's our layout right here okay so this is activity main dot xml it will get inflate, inflated of course into a main activity as there is the interface of main activity then go ahead create another layout right click your layout then go over choose the layout resource file now i've named mine the model dot xml because this layout is actually going to model for us a single card view okay so what we're going to have right here at the root is a card view android support dot v7 dot 2j dot card view then of course we're going to specify various properties like the card elevation as well as the card corner radius then having specified those ones then we're going to add our text view clearly you can see that this text view right here okay um, our text view right here is just a simple card it's just, just a, of course a simple text view with the name is going to contain for us the name and that's what you have okay our text color will be the color accent so we're going to have this one right here as our model now this model will be inflated of course into a single view item in our recycler view so yeah these are two layouts let's now move over to our Kotlin code okay so next we're going to move over to our main package right here clearly you can see we have two classes a main activity as well as my adapter no this right here is just a file my adapter dot kt okay so proceed over and add a new Kotlin file you can just come right here choose it and then give it a name now once you've done that one then first and foremost you're going to specify the package from which our class is going to reside of course with the package you just enter the name of this particular package we're going to add our imports these are import statements then we'll come and then define our class this class rate is our my adapter class and of course yeah it's going to be a recycler view dot adapter subclass okay <coughs> sorry it's going to derive from recycler view dot adapter and we're going to pass a context object as well as an array list of spacecrafts via the constructor so the way we do that one in Kotlin is that we come right here and as you can see we're going to specify our Kotlin and then we also come specify our array list of spacecrafts right here via the constructor now having done that one we'll then proceed over and make this particular class our my adapter derive from the recycler view dot adapter so the way we do that one as you can see we use the colon then derives from recycler view dot adapter then we pass in our generic parameter which in this case is going to be my adapter dot my view holder so this basically means that this my view holder is actually defined in the my adapter class now we'll do that one okay so we actually need to go ahead and define it so we come right here and then s define that particular my view holder class as you can see right here okay so now our we've actually created our my view holder class so as you can see our my view holder will be taking in a view object called item view by the constructor and of course it's deriving from the recycler view dot view holder now this basically means that this view holder is also defined in the recycler view class and of course it's going to take right here 
an item view it need the of course the parent the base class the base view holder class who should also be passed in an item view now that item view is this view object that will be passed to us via the par via the constructor okay so yeah what we need to do let's just come right here define a text view and of course we come item view dot find view by id r dot id dot name txt so we're going to be referencing the name txt which we define right here within our card view we're going to be referencing it from within this particular my view holder right here and then assigning it to this internal variable that we call our name txt so having done that one we'll come and then first override our first method you can see my adapter is demanding that we either make it abstract or we implement some of the abstract methods okay now it wants us of course to implement the on create view holder then of course on create view holder as well as the on bind view holder as well as this get item count this get item count should be returning an integer so we come right here and make it return the number of spacecrafts that you're going to have okay basically its size then we'll come over right here and then override the on create view holder on create view holder is going to take two parameters an integer as well as a view group now it's take that one and then it should be returning a my view holder as its return type now first before we return a my view holder instance we actually need to inflate our model dot xml basically to turn it from an xml layout into a kotlin view object okay so to do that one we're going to use the layout inflator and then we invoke it from method passing in our context and then invoking the inflate and then passing in that layout so this will inflate it and return for us a view object which will assign of course to this variable v now having done that one we're going to come and then instantiate our my view holder passing in our view object and then return that instance of my view holder well we'll come and then override our last method the on bind view holder so on bind view holder is where we're going to bind our data so we're passing in of course a my view holder as well as the position of the current card in that our recycler view so we come right here we're going to use that particular position to retrieve the current spacecraft okay so we retrieve it then of course we set it to a name txt now does it that's all we need to do right here in our my adapter class now just be aware that we have these three methods overriding them within our my adapter and my or my adapter also has our my view holder right here as an inner class okay so we're going to have that one in our my adapter right here so yeah let's proceed over to our next class which is our main activity the java okay so next we're going to move to our final activity main activity was generated when you actually generated your project via android studio now if you didn't if you're not using android studio then you can actually just add it manually create of course a java file add the package add the imports and then create a class that is deriving from the app compat activity then once you've done that one of course just come over to your manifest and then make sure that you register this activity this way and then of course we make it our launcher activity right here so yeah do that one then of course we proceed over as you can see it's actually deriving from the app compact activity okay from our support library so first this is going to make it into an activity now but still it is a class so we're going to have some instance fields as you can see now we have our recycler view our button our my adapter right here and then you also have our ascending then you're also going to have this particular spacecrafts right here as you can see which is of course is an array list of strings this is the uh, array list that is going to contain of course our spacecrafts which will be binding to our recycler view so declare it right here then of course we're going to come and then override the on create method on create is a callback method and of course is actually defined in our activity class 
you can see it's taking in an allowable bundle object which will be used of course to save the instance or the state of the activity okay now that state can actually be saved so that we can restore it during uh, the configuration changes of the activity so first we're going to inflate our activity main using the set content view then of course we're going to invoke two methods first a method called initialize views second a method that we're calling fill spacecrafts so having done that one then we'll proceed over and then have these initialize views right here okay so we come first and foremost we're going to reference our recycler view using find view by id then we're going to set its layout manager by invoking the set layout manager then we pass in our linear layout manager instance so we pass it then of course we'll in such of course we come right here we pass the context into our linear layout manager constructor we also reference our sort button the button that when clicked is going to sort our data so when this button is clicked this is what we'll do we're going to invoke a method we're calling sort data then pass in ascending ascending is actually a boolean which by default is actually true now we pass it there and then we negate it so if it was true we'll negate it to false if it was false we'll negate it to true so that's what we're going to do within our initialize views then we're going to have this method we're calling sort data so sort data as you can see is receiving a boolean follow now we'll check if that boolean is true okay then we're going to invoke the sort method otherwise if that boolean is actually false then you are going to reverse so basically at first we're going to sort of course in an ascending manner and that boolean is actually going to be true then it will be negated to false as we've seen here and then once we've negated it to false we're going to reverse the already sorted uh, data okay now having done that one then we're going to instantiate on my adapter then set the adapter as the property of our recycler view right here yeah so having done that one we'll come and then have this method we're calling field spacecrafts so field spacecrafts as the name suggests is going to populate our spacecraft which is basically an array list so first we clear it so as to avoid duplication then using the add methods we add as many data as we want then of course having added data we're going to instantiate our my adapter and then of course set it to our recycler view either using the adapter property or the set adapter method so yeah that will do for us right there so with that one this of course is our full code all you need to do is to go ahead and then run the project and then you see the result okay so the result of course we showed at the beginning of the tutorial so please like this video share it we'll continue to do more android tutorials so you don't want to miss them like the video share it and make sure you subscribe to our channel programming wizards tv if you haven't done so so please do that one and take care i'll catch you in the next class